hey y'all welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by if you're new let's get into a quick moisturizing wash day and how i achieved this bomb curly fro first let's get into cleansing i try to wash my hair at least once a week this time i went a little longer to put the style factor wave booster products to the test Saturating my hair with water takes less time. I don't know what's different with this big child, but I'm not mad at it. I'm going in with the Style Factor Wave Booster All-in-One Conditioning Shampoo, which is a shampoo and conditioner in one, as the name states, and it cuts down on the actual wash process, which is always a plus. So the first thing I noticed was how almost slippery it felt in my hands as I emulsified it before applying it to my hair, which you should always do. Secondly, I noticed the smell. It was really soft and clean. I love, love, love the smell. It smells so much like baby powder or some sort of baby product. It was definitely moisturizing while I scrubbed. I took a little more time scrubbing my scalp since this is a two-in-one and I wanted to make sure my hair got all that it had to offer cleansing and conditioning wise. And remember, I went a little longer um, without washing my hair just to see how good this would do with cleansing my scalp. I was able to finger comb my hair with ease, which I love. I always love when a shampoo allows me to detangle. It's infused with aloe vera, which has moisturizing properties and coconut water for the ultimate hydration. After cleansing and rinsing, my hair felt clean and moisturized and tangle free. I would have liked to have a deep conditioner. I think that would have taken it up a notch, but without it, my hair still felt really nice. So moving on to the Wave Booster Hydrating Leave-In. It had the same slippery moisturizing feeling as the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. My fingers were gliding through my hair with no issue and no tangles. I felt like it did a good job in prepping my hair for styling and even defined my curls a little bit. So to style, I'm using the foam mousse. Of course, y'all already know. Y'all know I'm a mousse girl. The Wave Booster Collection does have styling creams, but mousse is my girl right now. So I was excited to see how this one works on my hair. And there are different mousse formulas available, but I have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Shea Butter Formula. So sectioning off my hair, I detangled first with a Denman brush. I applied some mousse and did two strand twists and I waited until I finished a section before I added a perm rod just to give my hair some time to dry so that it could dry a little quicker on the perm rod. And as you can see, I don't wrap my hair too tightly around the rod. I don't want it to flatten my hair. I still want to have some of that twist definition. So in the back, I put the smaller gray perm rods and the white ones toward the top of my hair to see if it'll give me a more of a tapered look since my hair is out of shape. Like it needs to be shaped really, really bad, but I'm waiting till I get a little more length. So yeah, it kind of works a little bit. Also, when I got to the top, I would twist towards my face so that my curl twist would fall that way versus the back of my head. So you should always twist your hair into the direction that you want it to fall. So I ran out of white perm rods on the very front of my hair. So I used the gray ones instead, which was no biggie.
now for the fun part y'all already know the takedown is always the fun part to see how your hair turned out so i sat under a hooded dryer for about 40 minutes a couple of my twists were still a little wet but after taking out the perm rods i hit those sections with my diffuser and was good to go with separating my curls you don't want to separate it unless it's completely dry so all i did was take off the perm rod the ones that i noticed were still wet i hit it with the diffuser until it was dry and then i went ahead and separated so there was so much shine on my hair so once the rods were out, I used the biotin hair and scalp oil on my hands before separating, which I don't even think I needed to do. <laughs> my hair was so moisturized and already shiny from the mousse. Now, once I started separating, you can tell by my face that I was pleasantly surprised. My hair felt so lightweight and almost like I didn't even have a product on it. Like it felt like there was nothing on my hair. Like, but I still had the moisture and I still had the definition, which it was like, it just blew my mind. Like most mousses, I can feel that there's something on my hair, but with this one, it felt like nothing, literally nothing was on my hair, which I loved. And because my hair was so moisturized, separating my hair was so easy. I didn't have any snags. I didn't have any tangling. It was like super easy. So after I finished separating, obviously I go in with my pick and fluff it out, trying to get myself big hair. Even though my hair does not stay big, y'all, it will shrink back down. And then I have to fluff it again. But to finish off my style, I use the Edge Booster Edge Control in Citrine. And it smells amazing. Like it smells so good. Style Factor Edge Controls are bomb anyway, as most of you already know. <laughs> so I ended up with soft, shiny, beautiful curls. I legit felt like this would be my new signature style. I love my wash and goes, but now that I got some length on my hair, I'm definitely adding this to the rotation more. Helen was like, you feeling yourself, ain't you? Mm, yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Even my husband was like, I like that style on you when I sent him a picture. So that's always a plus. And if you want to try these products, head to Style Factor's website to find your nearest store where you can find them or even pop into your local beauty supply store and see if they have them. I hope you guys find them. I hope you try this style. I hope you love it. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much to Style Factor for sponsoring this video.